Jess. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us for our daily spiritual check-in. I'm Jesse, And I'm Kelly, and we are coming to you from the Kids Hall here at the church. Yes, so thank you for joining us. And so today our verse that we're going to be talking with you guys about is coming from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. So speaking of prayer, Kelly and I were talking a few days ago about prayer because we talk about everything. <laughs> <laughs> we're besties and we talk all the time about everything. We talk about everything. And so Kelly was telling me um, about her prayer life. So will you share that with everybody? I was telling Jesse that I've noticed in the last couple of weeks, um, my prayer life here at home looks very similar to how my prayer life was when we were on a mission trip. We um, used to take these mission trips to Haiti, and when you were in that country, everything was unpredictable. Nothing was nothing was secure. Um, you found yourself praying for safety constantly. You found yourself praying um, that you would be you wouldn't get sick, that you wouldn't get injured. You would pray constantly because you couldn't go to the doctor if you were there and for he got sick for protection, <laughs> right? And so. Prayer was on the forefront of your mind when you were in that country and in those circumstances because life was so unpredictable and um, you just, you weren't, pro you didn't have the same security that you had here at home. And so I was telling Jesse that um, the last couple of weeks I have found myself praying like that, like when we were on a mission trip. Um, mm -hmm. Praying for safety, praying for security, thanking the Lord for another day, thanking Him that everyone was well, thanking Him that um, we had our home, that we had food, that, you know, just constantly praying about every single thing. And to be honest, our lives have been so comfortable up until now that we kind of took these things for granted. We, we kind of took our securities for granted and so and I think that we're recognizing now in our prayer life our dependency on the Lord here um, not just in Haiti but here in America as well um, just day to day that we need him um, and that is why we pray we pray because we need him we pray because we trust in him that he's in control of the situation we pray because it draws us nearer to him and so my prayers have looked kind of similar to Kelly's in that I'm thanking God for every little thing that we have. Um, thank you for this food. Let it nourish us. Let it strengthen us. Um, Lord, be our shield. Be our refuge. Be um, our guard. Um, protect us. Keep us safe. Uh, and I'm praying for our leaders that they would have wisdom. Um, there are just so many things. And we've Kelly and I have been um, in contact with kids ministry families asking, what do you guys want us to pray for you about? So prayer has absolutely been at the forefront of our minds, um, and hopefully we'll keep it that way. Um, and that's not a bad thing that um, that we're kind of resorting to prayer. I don't want it to sound like that. What I'm saying is that it's the best thing. That's where we need to be. That's what we can be doing. If you feel kind of like, I don't know what to do. I feel helpless. I feel hopeless. What you can do is the best thing that you can do is to pray um, to the Lord, the God of all creation, who is sovereign and powerful and in control of the situation. So there is hope in him. And so let's take this time to pray um, unceasingly, never stopping every moment of every day because we are that dependent on him and we recognize it. And so we want to lift, um, lift a, that up to him in prayer. So we want to encourage you guys as you um, continue over the next few weeks, when you find yourself um, feeling worried or anxious or just upset about the way things are going, or maybe you feel mad, um, the best reaction you can have is to go to God, to talk to Him about it. Well, and share all of who you are with the Lord. So let's pray together. God, we thank you so much um, that we can come to you and know that you are there 
We know that you are faithful, that you are good, and that you're loving and you're kind and you're generous, Lord. We thank you so much for who you are and all that you have done. We thank you for protecting us, for keeping us safe, um, for all the many blessings that you have given us. And I thank you that we can come to you in prayer any moment of any day. And I pray that we would do that every moment of every day, that we come to you and call on your name when we need you, Lord. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a good day. Bye.